Hey guys, I'm a Curious Gopher, and I just want to show you real quick the best place I've found in Dark Souls 3 for farming souls. I've seen a few different videos on YouTube about farming souls, and none of the videos showed this location or a location better than this. Uh, this spot is better than the infinitely summoned enemies on Archdragon Peak. It's better than killing the winged knights on top of the Grand Archives, and it's available earlier in the game than either of those places as well. But first, let me show you the gear I'm going to be using. It's not going to let me see it if I'm in a pose there. Uh, so I've got the Mendicant Staff, which increases soul absorption. I've got the Shield of Want. Uh, Mendicant Staff is from Archdragon Peak. The Shield of Want is in the Smoldering Lake. You can get it as soon as you kill the Abyss Watchers, I believe. I've got the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, which you can get as soon as you get to Firelink Shrine. And then I'm going to be using the Symbol of Avarice, which you can get from any Mimic in the game. You can get it from the first Mimic if you uh, know the Undead Hunter Charm trick that lets you just keep rolling the dice for their drops. Or you can just get it by killing every Mimic in the game, like I did. So real quick, uh, all you have to do... Just go to the Enorlando bonfire here. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be killing three enemies over and over again. Uh, with my gear, I get a little over 21,000 souls per run, and it takes me about 50 seconds to kill everything and get back to the bonfire. So that is uh, it's about a million souls every 40 minutes, or about one and a half million every hour, which is a lot faster than the... 700,000 or whatever that a lot of other locations are supposed to give you. But you have to, what I do, cause I'm killing them with my butcher knife, but to get the bonus from the Minigant staff, I just have to as soon as I kill them if I swap over to the staff I still get the bonus. And then just one more enemy here. Usually I have the stamina to kill him right there, but I might not have switched to the staff quick enough there. I don't know if I got the bonus for that last one, but that's it. You just do that. And like I said, uh, with my gear, I get about 21,000 souls every time I kill them. And then I run back to the bonfire, and it takes under a minute each time. They're a lot easier to kill than the knights. And uh, you also have the benefit of they, they, drop the f they drop large and small Titanite shards. They drop the entire silver armor our silver knight armor set as well as the shield and they also have a chance uh and the, the the third one you kill actually has a much higher chance it seems of dropping uh what's it called the proof of a concord kept which you need for the rewards from the blue sentinels or the dark moon covenants so that's it uh just as soon as you can get to an orlando you can just farm these guys to your heart's content get plenty of souls for whatever you need them for so hopefully this helps someone out there and happy dying. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out part one of my Dark Souls 3 cake walkthrough. You can watch it by clicking that video in the middle of this video right there. If you like this video or found it helpful, please remember to hit that thumbs up button and share it with a friend who plays Dark Souls 3. If you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down button and share it with your conservative grandmother so she'll be super offended when she gets to the part where I say fuck. I would very much appreciate it if you would subscribe. This is a brand new channel and every sub helps stave off the crushing depression that makes my every waking moment sheer agony. In the comments section, why don't you tell me how much I suck and- God damn it, cat! will you stop that? Oh my god, the mimic head. <laughs>